Now, Prince Harry, he suggested that COVID was Mother Nature's punishment as he launches his new Nature Channel. Have a look at what he said. It's been a universally tough year for everybody. You know, someone said to me right at the beginning of, uh, of the pandemic, it's almost as though Mother Nature has sent us to our rooms for bad behaviour, um, to really take a moment and think about what we've done. It certainly reminded me, as, as it has probably reminded all of us, how interconnected we all are. Not, as, not just as people, but through nature. We take so much from her, um, but we rarely give anything back. Daisy, there's absolutely no evidence to any of that. The probability is that an animal was sold at a market and it crossed into a human. Um, we've been selling animals at markets for about, well, several centuries. And this business about it's got, you know, it's, it's obviously something to do with our fault. What, what is he on? <laughs> Poor Harry. I mean, this is just, this is the most sort of ludicrous um, assertion from him. But the th thing is, he's actually not the first person that I've heard say that the coronavirus is a, is a punishment from Mother Nature for, for the sins of all humankind. I've, I've heard sort of climate change activists say it, that it's Mother Nature keeping us in check and telling us that, yes, we can limit our air travel and we can limit our emissions if we only try to. We can do it for a virus and not climate change etc etc i find it all terribly biblical and, and apocalyptic in a funny sort of way you know like mother nature is this this deity that's sort of a vengeful god and wreaking vengeance on humankind etc etc i think look the, the bottom line is that those those comments are not helpful to his cause at all i think no. they, they might um amuse the you know it might make the climate lovies happy but the rest of us i think will just uh greatly roll our eyes at that kind of commentary coming yes, from him yes yes let's put him aside right now. Back to things that are a little bit more important. Pressure is mounting on ADF Chief Angus Campbell to resign. This was Jackie Lambie and Bob Catter today. Well, I think we're all um, pretty upset that, first of all, they haven't looked at their own leadership, which is very upsetting in itself, and what part they did not play or did play in this, and threw those diggers straight under the bus to cover their own backsides. Um, I think it's time for fresh blood. I think that era is over, and I think that him and some of his mates up there at the very top, it's time for my people to come through and, and take that leadership over. This is a pretty big call for Major General Angus Campbell to resign. Why should he go? No, I don't want him to resign. I want him sacked. Um, he spat upon his own troops. I mean, the first thing, if something's gone wrong, and if I'm the boss, it's my fault. Jane, would you agree that he spat upon his own troops? I'd probably have to agree with Bob Catter. Yeah, look, those two are plain-speaking Australians, aren't they? They've got enormous cut-through. Look, I live near the SAS barracks over here. I live near the regiment over here. I know people who are in that regiment who have passed, uh, who have served in the regiment. Um, and I think Angus Campbell, on the day that the Brereton report was released, should have said there's some blame in the higher-ups and I will, I will resign. Um, as almost as a as a show of good faith, Chris. What happened was, and and I, I have to keep repeating that there are people uh, in special operations who wanted this inquiry, but it was protracted. If there's rot there, they want it cut out. It was protracted to throw them all under the bus. And also, I'm sorry to say, there's been a failure of federal government in this too. Yeah. To throw that bomb and then everyone just walk away and leave these poor guys sort of shaking, going, well, what next? And the idea that everyone uses their meritorious unit citation, no. And it has now turned into a festering sore, and I think Campbell does have to go, and probably a few more higher-ups. And I would like to see um, the Prime Minister come out and have a bit more to say about this, because Australians, we're all looking, going, OK, this is terrible, this happened, allegedly... Where's the leadership? We need some more yeah. leadership on this from the federal government and the higher-ups in the army. Serving personnel have rung me on my radio program saying we've lost all trust and confidence in the leadership yeah. after that. They can't yeah. get that back. It's, it's, you've, got to, you've got to earn that and they've lost it. How's this, Daisy? Donald Trump has decided to send his first fleet back to the Pacific. This is something that went on in 1973 to help quell unrest in our region. Now, he's obviously concerned about China's recent attitude. Um, it's, it could be a really, really ag aggressive move that could upset the Chinese. I don't know wh which way to go here. Are we happy about this? 
I think it's a fabulous idea. Um, I'm extremely pleased that he, he has done this. I, I think he is certainly the only one of the two presidential candidates who is in any way serious about, about standing up um, to China, the way they're behaving, their sort of expansionist tendencies, and let's not forget their authoritarian structure and their, their, human, their human rights abuses. I, I think it's a wonderful idea to have that kind of um, presence in our region. And um, certainly it seems that uh, regardless of of whether or not he wins the presidency, he still does have legal options available to him. There have been yep. a number of hearings in swing states over the last um, week which have produced some pretty um, alarming testimony from witnesses who have all signed affidavits under penalty of perjury about irregularities in the way that the election was conducted. Um, I, I, th I think it, it's great that he's locked this in. If Biden ends up becoming the president, then he's not able to, to change it. Uh, so I think it is, it is okay. a terrific example. All right, great to, to talk setting. with both of you, Jane, Daisy. Thank you. Have a great thank evening. You, Chris. Thank, thank you, Chris. Me.